Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I am going to introduce you with a new operator in Kotlin. That new operator is called an uh, open range or a range until operator and uh, it's available as an experimental API from a Kotlin version 1.7.20. So if you want to use this um, a new operator, uh, then you should enable this um, Kotlin options uh, language version to 1.8. And of course, you should use uh, that uh, same version that I have mentioned earlier. Now, uh, this uh, new operator is designed to be a replacement, but also an improvement for until function. Now, before I show you that uh, new operator, uh, let's take a moment to write a simple range in our code. So I'm going to here uh, write, uh, for example, one variable, uh, range 1, and here I'm going to uh, say 0. Then I'm going to use this um, double dot uh, operator to create a simple range, and I'm going to specify here uh, 10. Now below that I'm going to create a range 2, and here I'm going to specify a 0, and then I'm going to call here this until function, and I'm going to specify that uh, same number. So if you have worked with the ranges before, then you are already familiar with this until function, right? Now let's uh, here call uh, println, and let's try to print uh, those two uh, ranges, so uh, range 1 and range 2. So here in this result you will see that the first uh, println function has printed our first range, which actually contains uh, those uh, two dots or this uh, double uh, dot operator, right? In that case, uh, all values from this uh, start value to this end value will be included along with that uh, upper bound value, right? However, in this uh, range number two down below, we're going to print from zero to 10, but not the actual upper bound value, which is 10, right? So that's the whole purpose of this uh, until uh, function. However, uh, if we check the source code uh, of this um, of this until function, we will realize that uh, it's uh, using that uh, same double dot operator behind the scenes. So basically, uh, whatever the last uh, value is, minus one. And with that little trick, the until function will not include the upper bound value. But that doesn't mean that uh, the until function is bad, quite the opposite, it actually performs uh, quite well. However, there are some cases uh, where you're going to hit the wall with that until function. So for example, um, let's say that we want to use until function with a float value. So let's try and create here uh, one more variable, a range 3 for example. And let's specify here for example 2.0 until 15.0, right? Well, in that case, uh, we're going to receive here an error because this until function does not support uh, this actual type. But uh, don't worry because now we're going to use a range until uh, operator and this uh, code will actually compile. So let's create here uh, one more uh, property or a variable. I'm going to comment out this one, and here I'm going to use our new uh, range until uh, operator, so just uh, here type uh, double dot and uh, less than a symbol, right? So here we're going to also receive one error, but that error uh, is just a reminder saying that we need to add here this uh, experimental uh, annotation so just press um, so just press here alt plus enter and just specify this uh, this uh, annotation so experimental standard library api there we go all right so uh, below that i'm going to also call a println and here let's try for example to to write something like uh, 2.0 in our uh, range uh, 4 or maybe uh, 16 uh, point, uh, zero in range four or uh, 15 even a uh, 14 i'm going to comment out those uh, previous examples for now let's just run our main function to see what kind of a result that uh, we're going to get so as you can see now whenever we type uh, 2.0 in our actual range we're going to receive here true because uh, 2 actually exists within our range right so uh, now we have two false values so 16 and 15 are actually not within this range because this is a uh, range until operator which means that this uh, upper bound value will not be included in this range that's why here we are receiving a false uh, as a result and of course the number 14 is actually included in this range and of course uh, we can use a regular uh, double dot operator to create uh, uh, this range right However, we cannot use until function with this uh, float value. Now, uh, the actual types uh, of those two variables are different from before. So now we have um, a closed range. As you can see here, the type is uh, a closed range. So here we can specify uh, closed range. 
and we can type a double value, right? And the type of this uh, second uh, a property or a variable is a uh, open end range. And those two are basically interfaces that uh, many other classes uh, are implementing, right? So if we open up the source code, then you will see that uh, here this uh, interface just contains uh, two different properties for the minimum and the maximum value, and also two functions, like the contains function that actually checks whether a certain value is within this uh, specific range, and also is empty function, right? So this uh, closed range interface may be already familiar to you, but this uh, open end range is now available since Kotlin 1.7. As you can see, this uh, open end range uh, actually accepts uh, one type, which is a comparable, right? And that means that uh, we can use our uh, range until operator basically with uh, any comparable type. Now, uh, even though we cannot use, for example, a for each loop with those specific types, uh, we can use some of uh, its functions from its interfaces, like for example the contains function, right? Or we can use this in keyword to check whether a certain value is within that specific range. Now here, of course, we can use a uh, contains function. So we can, for example, type here maybe a range uh, 4, then a contains. And here we can type as a value, for example, some uh, uh, value that actually exists within this range. And we should receive here a, a Boolean value true as a response, right? We can also uh, experiment uh, our uh, range until uh, operator with some other types that are also comparable, like, for example, a local date. So let's here uh, create, for example, uh, two variables, maybe a January. Let's call here a local uh, date. Let's specify some values, for example, 2022, month first, 26 uh, day. And down below we can create, for example, October, the same year, month number 10, and the same day, right? So below that, I'm going to create here a result number one. Let's try to use our uh, regular uh, range operator, so January from January to October, and the result number two uh, will have a January until October. We can of course uh, try to print those uh, same values. So result uh, one and the result uh, two. I'm going to now comment out uh, those uh, print elements from here. Let's just run our uh, examples. So as you can see here, we have received the expected result, and now we can compare those two values uh, by using. Um, that uh, same, for example, contain function. So we can type here our uh, result number two contains, and we can specify here local date. So the same year, the same month, and the same day, right? And in this uh, second uh, print element, we can print uh, maybe a day of uh, 27. So type here 27, and let's see what kind of a result uh, we're going to get for those uh, last two print elements. So now, as you can see, uh, both of those values uh, have printed uh, uh, false. However, if we now type here uh, 25, now that uh, last result will return true. Because here, as you can see, this result 2 is using that um, range until operator, which means that uh, we should receive here true only if this uh, day is actually less than 26, right? Because that's the value that we have specified right here. Okay, so now you have seen a couple of uh, different examples of how you can use this uh, new uh, range until operator. Also, uh, don't try to use this uh, greater than symbol because it will not work. That operator does not exist, so only this um, a less than or a range until operator. So let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you think about this uh, new range until operator. And also, uh, be sure to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that will be all.